All right, so I guess it's time for a recap. So the last time I was doing the video, I got stuck with the uh, last glow plug in the uh, engine, which is number six. So I verified that it is uh, one, two, three on the passenger side, one being the front, three being the rear, and then four, five, six on the driver's side, with again, four being the front and six being the rear. There's uh, another gentleman by the name of Sherrock, I think, on YouTube. And uh, for whatever reason, the uh, manual he was using is not correct. He has a great video. I'm not putting it down. It's not his fault that his manual was wrong. So uh, if you want to do more diagnostic testing of the uh, wiring, you should watch his video. So regardless, so I'm going to do a, an attempt at a poor man's removal of this last glow plug. I was uh, informed that the uh, thread pitch on the uh, glow plug removing kits is a uh, quarter 28 and uh, I just been checking some measurements here and it seems like that's pretty aggressive size bolt to put in one of these glow plugs so we'll see if that's going to work or not I'm thinking maybe an M6 might be more appropriate but uh, we're gonna try the uh, quarter 28 at first and I'll leave enough uh, depth in the uh, glow plug that I can do another attempt uh, with a metric fastener perhaps later. So to reach the cavity where the glow plug is, like I said, I used like a drill with an adapter for an impact gun, a six inch extension, and then a 732nd bit. Otherwise, with the, a chuck, you'd never be able to reach down into that hole. So uh, well, I guess we'll take a look at the glow plugs. One thing I've discovered is that I've tried driving this Jeep for about 10 hours now and I've had it up to the 95 miles an hour going up a fairly heavy incline. I couldn't pop that glow plug out. Normally when the glow plug is in, the uh, ceiling surface is uh, right here. So the threaded part from here to here, sorry I'm just using a new camera here, there's happy, I figured it out. So from here to here is uh, just a, a void in the uh, head and the sealing business takes place right there. So there was no possibility of the glow plug falling in the engine and getting hit by a piston because it sticks out just a fraction of an inch actually uh, into the engine uh, normally but because of that ridge there it couldn't fall in and I had jacked it out about uh, a half an inch with the threads so I used an easy out and it just fell apart when I, I did that. So if you're going to drill out a glow plug, what you should do is strike it from the side to snap the uh, tip off. So you'll snap this portion off here. So I just used like a, a long extension and kind of reached in and hit it with a hammer and snapped off the end. You should be able to do that. Then I used, uh, what would that be? Uh, 330 second a bit for my pilot drill and that was just it worked out okay and then I went up to 730 seconds so an extra 30 second of an inch for the uh, bit and uh, I've had a lot of trouble trying to find something to tap this so I've got like a, a chuck being a machine tool they're all square drive and there's not much space you might reach in with that, that's uh, the best you're going to be able to do. So uh, I put in a metric bolt, that's like an M6, and uh, double nuttered it so that I can try to thread this in with uh, a ratchet. So we'll see how that goes. Things are going to get kind of weird tonight if this works. If not, I'll have to order that kit online. It's just that nobody carries them in stock, so you have to wait for it to be delivered. So I thought I'd give it a shot using what I've got around. And then I've got a, a homemade slide hammer. So this is just a piece of half inch black iron and three eighths black iron on this end. I'm just gonna drill like quarter inch holes in each end. And then I can just pull as a, like a, a slide hammer to try and yank out this glow plug. Cause I know it turns a little bit, but I just can't pop it out cause it's stuck in like the whole length of the thing. So I was thinking about doing a little electrical resistance test. Like you can just test from the body to the tip 
and it should be like an ohm or something like that, a couple of ohms. Not a lot, not none. So uh, anyway, we'll skip that part and uh, we'll get down to business. So basically at this point, I've already drilled this out and there's not much of a vantage point to see any of the work happening in the engine. Unfortunately, that's why I'm kind of showing you everything in advance. So I'm hoping I can thread this into the uh, engine on its own. If it's too, too short, I'll weld them together end to end. And then I'll, like, I'll have a, one of the cap on it before I weld it so that uh, I can use it as a slide hammer. Try to pull the thing out. And if that's not heavy enough, I'll just put something on my hand, I guess, to make you get more bit more momentum to pop the thing out. So uh, I'm just going to check a couple things. Might as well do that right now, actually. So these are, uh, I'll look at, this is a Beirut glow plug. That's a Bosch. So we'll just see what the uh, diameters are. So it's 26.2, 262 thou. Again, 262, it's about the ability of this tool. Then we look at one of the bolts. 247.5. So you can see that I don't have a lot of uh, meat there left in the glow plug after I hog it out and thread it. Fat, yeah, so it's like 245. 246. So, kind of concerned about that. I'm hoping uh, I haven't been uh, led astray. But I'm going to be careful so that it, whatever I do, I don't goof things up. So, it was easy enough to get a, a good drill, like a pilot through this. It went in straight. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't difficult at all. I don't know if I can get this to zoom in or not. But, uh, it was easy to so get that going. So uh, I'll just turn off the camera and uh, get set up to do the uh, threading. All right, so I've got things uh, sort of started here. So I just got a, a quarter inch drive screwdriver running uh, a quarter by three eighths adapter and a three eighths uh, 10 millimeter deep socket that's on the, the double nutted bolt there, which is holding on to the tap. And the tap is uh, 3 16th square. And th this has become the real problem with this, right? Is trying to somehow grab onto a 3 16th tap snugly to do this job. So I got it started uh, by hand using the uh, screwdriver. I'm just going to spray a bit of fluid film on it now. And I'm going to thread it with the uh, ratchet here. I need to get another extension. I lucked out and I was able to get a bunch of extensions on sale together. Thread that I started just pulled out. Not the ideal way to be threading something. Be the struggle of the year if we're successful.
Okay, so let's show you what happened. Where am I here? Try to get this thing to uh, focus. So I grabbed and uh, pulled out the, another piece of glow plug. So I'm gonna have to try again. That's uh, a bit worrisome. All right, so I pretty much just drilled with the 732nd drill bit almost to the uh, bottom of the drill bit to see if I could just uh, loosen it in the bore that way because it's pretty much hogging out the glow plug. There's not enough to thread onto, so uh, pretty much hoping that it pops out in the next subsequent couple starts. Alright, no luck with that one, so I'll just uh, see what I can do next. I'll let you know. Looks like it's starting to come out. Maybe we got some success here. Alright, I got the uh, tap that was stuck in the uh, glue plug out. Let's try again. I think we got it. Maybe you could point out and tell me where I went. Alright, I'll go find it and we'll take a look. Alright, so uh, you can see I got the last glow plug out and it's a Bosch like I thought. So the uh, Bosch's seemed to get stuck pretty quick and it was like a replacement glow plug. It only been in there for a couple of years. So definitely use uh, ceramic grease. I've, I'll link a uh, good description there for that. And as you can see, I basically drilled the length of the uh, 732nd bit in as far as uh, I could. Just mind that you don't want to go too much further than here because you don't want the electrode to fall into the engine. So I probably left an inch of the shank and I tried to thread it but the uh, 
quarter 28 really wasn't a, a good choice for this job. You want to do something smaller, probably in uh, millimeters and metric. So that's uh, pretty much the end result. I was able to get the new glow plug in without any trouble. I got it up to 110 inch pounds for torque with uh, the grease on it. So I'm pretty happy with the uh, way things turned out because the Jeep is still usable. I don't have to take the heads off or do anything crazy. So uh, this is one alternative you could use is just to drill out the center of the plug a majority of its length just to weaken its bond and then start the engine and pop it out. So uh, thank you for watching.